Hello euphoniums and trombones and welcome to your third guided music practice video. In today's lesson we are practicing our first seven notes and all we're doing is aiming to be successful in reading and playing them correctly. So let's get started. First of all, our lowest note that we know now is an A. So let's start with the A. Like this. Pause and practice and make sure that that note matches the sound that I just made. Let's play it again. Now pause and practice that and play that note like 10 million times. And now let's play the B flat. So it should sound a little bit higher. Pause and practice that. Make sure it sounds really good. Now let's play those two notes together. A and B flat. And again. Pause and practice those two notes. Now A, C. What position is C in? Good. Six trombones and euphoniums. One and three. So now we're playing A, B flat, C. Well, it doesn't sound quite like that, but A, B flat and C. And trombones, A, B flat and C. And make sure that it's low, middle, and a little bit higher. And play it again. notes for four counts on each one and with a really big sound. And now let's play the next note up. So we have A, B, C, what comes next? D. Good. D is four on trombone and for euphoniums. A, B, C and D. One and two. C, D, no A. And now add the A at the end. Now we're going to play the A at the end of every group. So we're going to start on B flat every time. B flat, C, D. Next note is E flat. So we have B flat, C, D, E flat, A, down there, two back together. And then A. So B flat, C, D, E flat, A. And again. note for four counts. Now let's add the F. So remember B flat then C D E flat then F. F is back in one and euphonium B flat C D E flat and then F is zero again just like the B flat and then A at the bottom all together. <laughs> Good, it's the only note we haven't played yet. B flat, C, D, E flat, F, and then G goes back out to four. Euphonium, remember G is the same as, which one? D, so D and G have the same fingers and it's one and two. B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, and then the A down the bottom. Let's do it together. Now see if you do the opposite. 
opposite. Start on a low A. Then go up to G. And let's just do that again. A. And then A. And then G. Try it again. And one more time. Pause and practice that on your own. Just the A to G. And now go A, G, F. Or A, G, F. And remember, you have to try really hard to use lots of air and to sing all of the notes in your head while you play. See now if you can go A, G, F, E flat, D, C, B flat on your own using all of the notes that we know so far. Now let's look at exercise 43. Exercise 43 helps us practice the feeling of going low to high to high to low. So looking at exercise 43, what position are all of the notes in? Trombones? One, euphoniums, zero. So you don't need any fingers, you can put your slide lock on and you don't have to hold it. So from the beginning, B flat, F, F, B flat. Make sure you sing it in your head while you play and you're using lots and lots of air. Ready? Three. <sighs> again. B flat, F, F, B flat, B flat, B flat, F, F, B flat. Now let's look at the next four bars and play them. One, two, three. <laughs> And now see if you can play the whole thing together as a warm up. Remember that feeling of going da 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 using that much air. Imagine you're singing really loudly. Pause and practice. And now turn back to exercise 41. And notice how it has all the notes that we've learnt so far. It has B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, and A. Pause now and see if you can work out all of the notes. And now let's play it. Just the first four bars. Ready? One, two. <laughs> B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, F. Now pause and practice the next four bars, singing in positions and fingers. And with me singing in fingers first, E flat, F, sorry, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, two, three, rest and euphonium. E flat, D, C, B flat, A. Let's play that. And. And again. Now pause and see if you can play the whole first line on your own. Now let's play it with me. Ready, and. And now look at the next four bars. What four bars are they exactly the same as? The first four bars. Good. Pause and practice those four bars on your own. And now look at the last four bars. See if you can work them out. 
Now practice all of the first four bars, the next four bars and the four bars after that on your own. And now look at the last four bars and sing it with me. Last four bars. F, D, E flat, C, B flat, two, three, and again. F, D, E flat, C, B flat, two, three, and play it with me. Sing it in your head, remember? <laughs> Anything that you found hard, making sure that you're singing it in your head and you're using really good air. Now let's go from the beginning with smart music, playing with your best sound. <laughs> too hard. Now remember, when you're practicing your smart music assignments, you want to try and get 100%. So if you're only practicing it twice, you're not going to be getting 100%. It might take you more than 20 times practicing it slowly, making sure the fingerings are right. And remember, there's those two blue dots. When you click a note, the bottom blue dot on the left, if you click that, it'll show you which fingers or position to use, which is very helpful. And then the other blue dot tells you what that note is supposed to sound like. So make sure you're using those functions in Smart Music. Let me know if anything was too hard. And now let's reflect on today's lesson. Are you able to confidently read and play your first seven notes? Pause and play them again. B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, and A down the bottom. Give yourself a score out of 10 for how good those notes sounded today. Let me know if you want more music for next week and feel free to keep going in the book. We're gonna be doing quavers next lesson. If you need extension, also play exercise 42, which uses the first seven notes as well. Keep up the good work and happy practicing.